All right, class. In this session, we are going to continue exercise 21.1. And in the last class, we have attempted question number one, two, and three. In today's class, we are going to start from question number four. I hope that all of you had done your homework and submitted it. So the concept is still the same that we need to find out the area between these two regions, and that is your shaded area. Uh, the equations we have, the first equation is y is equal to e to the power x, right? And we have y is equal to 1 minus x squared. Uh, if I'm going to find the area of y equals to e to the power x area under the curve, so the area from 0 to 1 is this portion, right? That is area under the curve from 0 to 1. And for the next equation, that is 1 minus x squared, if I find the area under the curve, so I can find this one, right? And then I will subtract these two areas to find out the area of the shaded region. That is the same way we have attempted the question in the last session. So first you need to give it a try by yourself and time is 4 minutes, so stop. All right. When I'm going to integrate the exponential function, so the integral of exponential is exponential. And then the limits we have, it's from 0 to 1. So the area, it's e to the power 0 minus e to the power, sorry, 1 minus 0. So that will be e to the power 1 minus. Anything with 0 power leads to 1. So that is your area of y equals to e to the power x. All right. For the next one. When you integrate it, it will be x minus x cube divided by 3. The limits we have is from 0 to 1. Upper limit, it will be 1 minus 1 upon 3. And for lower limit, it will be 0. So 3 minus 1 leads to 2 divided by 3. All right. And last, the area of shaded portion is equal to area of e y equals to e to the power x minus 1 is e power 1 minus 1 minus area of green one right that's 2 divided by 3 i can solve these two so minus minus 1 minus 2 over 3 if you take lcm that will be 3 it's minus 3 minus 2 leads to minus 5 over so e to the power 1 from your calculator it's 2.718 minus 5 over 2 gives you the answer 1.05 square units and that is your area of shaded part. Alright, so I hope that all of you are getting the same answer. The concept is still the same that first we need to uh, integrate the two curves, right? The limits are either given or we can find out as we have attempted the questions in last class. And then you need to find out the area of these two curves and subtract them to find out the area of shaded region. All right. All right. So moving on to the next one. All right, class. It's question number six. It says diagram shows part of the curve. The first part we have y equals to x square minus 8x plus 24 and y equals to 8x minus x square. Intersecting at the points a and b find the coordinates of a and b. Now at first you need to attempt the simultaneous method here. You have two equations you need to find out the value of a and b that is the point of intersections and how we are going to do that we need to solve them simultaneously. How? Here you have a variable y and here as well you have a variable y. So if you equate these two, you will get x square minus 8x plus 24 is equals to 8x minus x square. What you got? You got a quadratic equation. Right? And now you know very well that how to solve it to find out the coordinates of a and b and after a and b we need to give it a try for the second part to find out the area of the shaded portion once you got the value of a and b that means you have the limits value right 
and after the limits value you can find out all right so let's get to the first part only and after that i'm uh, telling the uh, method for part b so for first part in which you need to find out the coordinates of a and b you have a time of four minutes and then i will tell you the answer so start all right class so <clears throat> at first we need to arrange the equation so it will be x square minus x square it will be plus x square on the left side minus 8x minus 8x plus 24 equals to 0 it's 2x square minus 16x plus 24 equals to 0 we can take 2 common here so 2x square minus 8x plus 12 equals to 0 and we shift 2 on the right side it will be x square minus 8x plus 12 equals to 0 all right that is the quadratic equation now you need to apply a middle term so the two factors i got is x square minus 6x minus 2x plus 12 equals to 0 taking common now x x minus 6 minus 2 x minus 6 again taking common x minus 6 x minus 2 equals to 0 you got two values of x the first value is 2 and the next value is x all right so you can see that the a coordinates its value is 6 uh, 2 sorry and the b its value is 6 it says find the coordinates that means we need to find out the value of x and of y as well all right now i am going to pick this equation you can pick any equation if you want to pick the first one so this equation we have y equals to 8x minus x square when the value of x is 2 so y is what 8 twos are 16 minus 2 square is 4 16 minus 4 is 12 right and when x is equals to 6 y equals to 8 6 are 48 minus 6 square is 36 so 48 minus 36 it leads to uh, 12 right so i can say that for a the coordinate of a it's 2 comma 12 and the coordinate of b is 6 comma 12 all right so that is your first part of the uh, question uh, the coordinates of a and b and when you have the values of uh, limits 2 and 6 now it is quite easy to find the area of the shaded region all right and how we are going to do that all right first uh, the equation we have it's uh, you need to listen to me and then i will give you time to note it on in your copies so listen to it you have the equation y equals to x square minus 8x plus 24 this one right and we are going to integrate so area is x cube minus 8x square divided by 4 plus 24x and the limits we have it's from 2 to 6 it's x cube minus 2x square plus 24x the limits we have is from 2 to 6 all right now i'm going to place the value of uh, limits in this question <coughs> 6 cube it's 216 minus 6 square 36 36 twos are 72 plus 24 times 6 uh, 24 into 6 it's 144 all right so that is my upper limit minus lower limit 2 cube is 8 minus 2 square 4 twos are 8 plus 24 twos is 48 right 8 and 8 cancels now 216 minus 72 plus 144 it's 288 288 minus 48 so that is equals to 240 of area of x square minus 8x plus 24 right for the next equation we have y equals to 8x minus x square integrated so you will get 4x square minus x cube divided by 3 
so the limits of 2 to 6 when you place the upper limit it's 2 times of 36 minus 6 cube is 216 divided by 3 upper limit minus lower limit is 2 square 4 4 are 16 minus 2 cube is 8 divided by 3 all right so 36 times 4 it's 144 minus 216 divided by 3 minus 16 plus 8 divided by 3 so now 144 and 16 can be solved so that is 128 minus 216 and minus 8 that will be 208 minus 208 divided by 3 all right now we can take lcm it will be 3 so 128 times 3 it's 384 minus 208 leads to 176 divided by 3 which is equals to 58.67Alright, so that is the area of the uh, curve y equals to 8x square, 8x minus x square. Alright, for the first part here, x cube upon 3, I have forgotten to write here. So, this part is not right, so I am going to attempt it again because first type of mistakes. Alright, so when you integrate it, so that will be x cube upon 3 minus 8x square upon 2 that means it will be 4x square plus 24x and the limits we have it's from 2 to 6 so now it will be 6 cube divided by 3 6 cube is 216 so 216 divided by 3 minus 4 6 square is 36 plus 24 into 6 that is my upper limit minus lower limit is what 2 cube is 8 upon 3 minus 2 square is 4 4 is 16 plus 24 2 is 48 all right so 216 divided by 3 it's 72 that one is 72 minus 36 times 4 it's uh, 144 plus 24 times 6 it's 144 as well minus 48 minus 16 it's 32 so that will be plus 32 and 8 divided by 3 it's 2.67 all right so these two cancel so the left over is 72 minus 32 plus 2.67 it is 34.67 and when you subtract these two it will be 37.3 that is the area of the curve 8 x square minus 8 x plus 24 all right now we need to find out the area of the shaded portion so it is 58.67 area of shaded 58.67 minus 37.3 so 58.67 minus 37.3 and that is equals to 21.37 that is your final answer of the shaded area all right the concept is still the same that you need to find out the area of the two uh, curves and then you need to subtract them to find out the area of the shaded portion so i hope that all of you um, got the idea how to solve this question right and uh, as i have told you that i will give you the time to write down the solution all right so you need to write down the solution in your copy and for that part you have a time of two minutes write it down and then i will explain the next part so start all right so moving on towards the next question uh, it's question number 8 same exercise all right diagram shows part of the curve y equals to 7 plus 6 x minus x square find the coordinates of the point p q r and s so let me highlight the points for you 
is P, Q, R, and S. If we talk about P, all four points first observe that all four points lie on the curve, right? For P, as it lies on the x axis, we know that the value of y is 0, right? For Q, still it lies on the x axis, the value of y is 0. For R and S, R lies on y axis, so we know that for R, x is 0, right? And R and S lie on the same line, so that means uh, y coordinate of S and R is same. Alright, so first we need to find out the coordinates of all those four points. I have uh, told you the necessary conditions so that it is quite enough for you that you can find out the coordinates. So you have a time of three minutes to find out the coordinates of these four points. So start. Alright, for P, we need to place y equals to 0. So now the equation is 7 plus 6x minus x square equals to 0. I am going to shift all the values on the right side so that will be x square minus 6x minus 7 equals to 0. Now we need to apply middle term here that will be x square minus 7x minus x minus 7 equals to 0 x x minus 7 minus 1 x minus 7. Uh, here we have plus x right we need minus 6 so now it will be positive term here, right and now again taking common so it's x minus 7 x plus 1 equals to 0 so you got the value of x minus 7 equals to 0 and x plus 1 equals to 0 so x equals to 7 and x equals to negative 1 from your graph we can see that the point p is uh, obviously 7 comma 0 and for point q it's minus 1 comma 0 all right so i have done for the part p and q i hope that you have done as well for point r you need to opt the same method for point r just you need to place x equals to 0 here so the equation we have is y equals to 7 plus now 6 times 0 it will be 0 and 0 square is 0 so y equals to 7 that means the coordinates of r is 0 comma 7 all right after that for point s we know that the y coordinate is still same so x is basically x comma 7 that means x is unknown but the value of y is known here right we have the equation equation we have it's y equals to 7 plus 6x minus x square the value of y we know it's 7 equals to 7 plus 6x minus x square 7 and 7 cancels so if i shift all the numbers on the left side it's x square minus 6x equals to 0 we can take x common here that means x minus 6 equals to 0 so x is 0 and x equals to 6 basically 0 represent the coordinate for r and 6 is coordinate of s so the final answer for s is 6 comma 7 all right so we have done the first part in which we find all the four points p q r and s now for the shaded part there are three areas you can observe that are shaded right for the first part you need to find out the area of this shaded portion here if i draw a line from s straight line right so this is straight line strikes on x axis at point 6 so we have the limit from 0 to 6 right or you can see that this shape it's a rectangle right the area of rectangle you can easily find out so what you will do for this part of shaded portion i'm telling you that what you are going to do to find this area first we need to integrate the equation y equals to 7 plus 6x minus x square right after the integration place the limits value from 0 to 6 and once you had find out the area of this complete portion under the region then you need to subtract area of rectangle from this area all right 
find the area by integration and then subtract the area of rectangle that is your first task you have a time of two minutes for this question so start all right so when you integrate it it will be 7x plus 6x square upon 2 means 3x square minus x cube divided by 3 and the limit is 0 to 6 all right so upper limit 7 6 are 42 plus 6 square is 36 right and 36 times 3 it's uh, 108 6 cube is 216 divided by 3 it's 72 you can add subtract those uh, 42 plus 108 minus 72 it's 78 that is your area for complete portion right now the area of rectangle is L into B that is the working formula length is what it's 6 and width is the coordinate or the height is uh, 7 right because we have find the coordinates of R and S so it's 6 7 is R 42 so area of shaded is 78 minus 42 all right so i hope that all of you are getting the method 78 minus 42 gives you the value of 36 that is my first shaded portion all right after that i am going to find the area of this portion i've highlighted it now the equation we have that given in the question is y plus 2 7 plus 6 x minus x square right this portion lies on the negative y axis right so first i'm going to change all the signs or multiply the expression by negative sign so it's x square minus 6x minus 7 right for this part of the portion which lies on the negative y axis i change all the sign uh, multiply this original equation by negative sign and now i will integrate it it will be x cube upon 3 minus 6 x square upon 2 means 3 x square minus 7 x limits we have uh, its q coordinate is minus 1 so limits we have from minus 1 to minus 2 all right no limits you apply from lower to higher so the lower limit is minus 2 till minus 1 all right so when you place the upper limit minus 1 cube it's minus 1 divided by 3 minus 3 minus minus plus 7 minus lower limit minus 2 cube it's minus 8 divided by 3 minus 2 threes are 6 no 2 square is 4 and 4 threes are 12 minus minus plus 7 twos are 14 all right you can simplify it so 7 minus 3 is 4 and uh, 4 minus 1 upon 3 so that is equals to 3.66 or 3.67 minus here we have 14 minus 12 it's 2 and 2 minus 8 upon 3 so that is equals to minus 0.6 7 and 3.67 plus 0.67 it's 4.34 all right that is your shaded area for this part of the curve all right so first you need to note it down in your copies and for this part you have a time of 90 seconds so start all right now the last portion we have is this one all right so for this part of the curve highlighted in red the equation we have it's uh, y equals to 7 plus 6x minus x square right what we need to do uh, we need to apply the limits here and limits will be from 0 to 2 and q is negative 1 right so if i integrate that will be 7x plus 6x square upon 2 means 3x square minus x cube upon 3 
and the limits we have from minus 1 to 0. So the upper limit we will get it will be 0 minus lower limit is minus 7 plus 3 minus minus plus 1 upon 3. Alright, so minus 7 plus 3 it's uh, minus 4 plus 1 upon 3 which we can get uh, by using calculator. So it's 4 minus uh, 1 divided by 3. So it's 3.66, right? Minus minus 3.66, which is equal to 3.66, and that is your answer. Alright? So you need to write down the solution in your copy, and you have a time of 40 seconds to start. Alright. So I hope that it is clear to you. And this is the last question of today's session. For homework part, you need to attempt question number 5 of the same exercise. Alright class, see you in next class. Take care.